the Myeloma Genome Project is um, just a, a massive um, project where we've tried to assemble all of the sequencing data that has been done globally to date. And so there are thousands of patients in it. And so if you take those um, samples, you group them as you would have previously, but then lay mutational data and structural chromosome number data on top of them. You can put them into these uh, technologies called random forests, and that will identify a set of markers that you can use to split out groups of patients. And so just in our first pass of this, it was clearly possible to identify a group of patients that is the right size and has a very poor outcome. So over the next months, we're going to finish that off. There's a new classification for myeloma, plus a method for identifying these patients. So now what we need to do is work with diagnostic companies to make diagnostic tests so as we can disseminate this um, approach to all the myeloma centers in the world. The basic technology is there, so we could do this within a year and a half. We're actually doing it in-house in Arkansas already, but that's not the point of this project. The point of the project is to disseminate it so everybody gets it. So the test has to be uh, efficient, identify the, te the cases you want and not be too expensive. And so I, I think we can deliver that. And uh, I think it's a very meaningful goal for myeloma patients.